Hey everyone, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I want to show you how to prep for a 12 lead EKG. Here we have Miss Smith, our mannequin, and I'm going to show you how to place your leads on, how to prep the skin, and show you how you get one. So first what we're going to do is we got to get our supplies. You'll need to get some electrode stickers. You'll need 10 for a 12 lead. You'll need to get some exfoliation paper. This just roughs up the top layer of the skin so you get a really good connection with the EKG stickers. And you'll need some alcohol prep to clean the oils off the skin. So here we go. What you're going to do first is you've got to expose the chest. So always warn your patient about that. And with male patients who are very hairy, you'll need to trim the hairs, okay? A lot of men have a lot of hair in this region, so always trim those. Um, I've got patients who I've had to reprep for an EKG, and the person before me had just threw the sticker over the hair, and I had to take the sticker off, and it pulled their hair, and it was very uncomfortable for them, and we could have saved the patient by just simply trimming the hair. So if you have a hairy chest, please trim that before you even begin. Next, um, what you'll want to do is prep the skin. First, we're going to place our arm leads and our leg leads. Before you do this, some people like to place the arm leads on the arms and the leg leads on the legs, but since this patient is laying in the bed, we're just going to simply use um, these landmarks that I'm going to show you. So what we'll do is we'll take our exfoliation paper and just gently rough up the top layer of the skin. We're going to go below the clavicle, the, bro the bony prominence, just right there and just clean that area. We're gonna go over here on the other, the left below the clavicle, and we're just gonna clean that. And then we're gonna go down on the upper quadrant of the abdomen. Um, because she's a little um, dissected right there, we're just gonna go in this area right there and just clean. And that's your, left lower, your right lower lead and your left leg lead. Next, take your alcohol prep and clean the area very well to remove any oils off the skin. Because um, people like to wear lotions and if they haven't had a bath in a while, there's a lot of oil on the skin and it'll prevent you from getting a good connection. Then we're gonna take our lead sticker. There is usually a little um, piece of paper on the back of it, so take that off and you're gonna feel where the bony prominence is of the clavicle and you're gonna go just right below that, right there. You're gonna press firmly, make sure you get all the bubbles out and everything and it's on the skin very well. Take your other lead and you're gonna go below the other clavicle on the left side and watch out for any defibrillators or pacemakers or sub-Q ports. If you do see those, go around those, okay? Never place the sticker on those devices. Then we're going to go with our right lower leg lead. Here we go. And now our left leg lead. About right there. Okay. Now we have our limb leads on. We're going to do V1 through V6 leads. To do V1, this is where you do your, your um, landmarks. You're going to find the right of the sternum which will be right here, and you're gonna to go to the fourth intercostal space of the ribs. So find your fourth intercostal space, about right there, and we're to the right of the sternum, and that is where we're going to prep with our exfoliation paper and our alcohol. And then we're going to put our lead on. And we're going to go to V2. It's going to be on the left side of the sternum at the fourth intercostal space. So it should be horizontally matching up with V1, just on the other side of the sternum. Again, you'll prep and you'll clean and then you'll place your lead. Okay, now we're going to, we're not going to do V3 yet, we're going to skip to V4. To do V4, we're going to go mid curricula, mid um, clavicular, mid clavicular, and you're going to go to fifth intercostal space. Now, on women, because they have breasts, you're going to have to go a little bit under the breast because you can't just stick a sticker right there on the breast tissue. Um, it'll mess up your EKG. So you're going to go a little bit below, which will be about right there. 
And before, you can always prep, because I'm teaching you guys, you can um, always prep the skin, of course, before you place the EKG stickers, so you don't have to do it individually. Okay, so that's V4. We have V1, V2, V4. Now we're going to go to V3. And V3 is usually just in between V1 and V2. Um, so we're just going to go about right there. So V1, V2, V3, V4. And we are going to skip to V6. This is how you find that. You're going to go mid-axillary underneath the armpit. And you're going to go down to the fifth intercostal, intercostal space, which should be horizontally lined up with V4. So it'll be about right there. It's mid-axillary, which is under the armpit. And it should line up with V4. I'm going to go about right there. And then we're going to go to V5. And V5 is right in between V4 and V6. So it'll be right here. So there is your 12 lead EKG setup. Let me go over them. You have the right arm lead, you have the left arm lead, you have the right leg lead, the left leg lead. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. And then your patient is ready to be hooked up for an EKG. Now, if you are doing a telemetry box, um, normally they have five leads on for that. That's the little box that they wear in their room so telemetry can monitor them. Normally how that's set up, you have your limb leads on and you have a chest lead on. It's really, um, I like to do V2 or V1. So we'll keep V1 on. Just take the other stickers off. V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. So that's what that would look like if you were just doing a basic telemetry box. You would have your um, arm leads and your leg leads and V1. So that's how that's set up. So I hope that helped you. I remember whenever I was a student, um, it really took me some time to learn how to prep. But since I work in a stress lab, I do it day in and day out so I could do it in my sleep. So I hope this video helped new nurses or nursing students out there. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. And um, be sure to visit my website, registerednursern.com, for help in nursing school. And thank you so much for watching.